wonderful software that we use here at SPNN, we try our best to offer technical production tips that can be useful in the midst of production or as a refresher before the shoot. This tech tip on the Inscriber software may be just what you were looking for. We're back at our Inscriber screen and you see that we have a name and a byline for the guest that we're about to show for a production. Now, as I mentioned before, text doesn't always tell you the whole thing and if we were to bring up that graphic right now you just see the letters on the screen which could be a problem if the studio or van location would be in a very bright place. Uh, bright colors don't go well together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a shape under both names and how we're going to do that is scrolling over to the tools panel. So on the upper right hand corner of the screen click on the horizontal panel. You could also click on the vertical panel but I prefer horizontal since uh, text tends to work that way and we are going to click the mouse left click and drag over the first name here Richard Avocado so we will do that give us enough space and you see that when we did that his name disappeared now that's because the shape that we have designed at this point that's because the shape we designed at this point is the same color as the text and obviously we don't want that because then it would be hard to read. So we are going to change the color by going down to the bottom of the screen where it says color and texture. Make sure the face is highlighted and then you can use RGB, HSV, or HLS values to click and drag the cursor to whatever color you want. We can try it red and you can see how it looks there. We could also go in black, green, blue, yellow, whatever. You can also type in individual values if you really know your stuff about color in the bottom of the screen in the color and texture panel. But for this purpose I will stick with blue. Blue is a solid color and goes well with just about anything. Now we can see his name. You also notice that there's a shadow behind the image I created. In the default settings Inscriber creates a shadow behind shapes. So to get rid of that click on the size and attributes tab Go over to shadow, unless you do want shadow, and then reduce the value to zero. I prefer not to go with shadows for shapes because it takes up quite a bit of space and can be difficult to work with if you're working with more than one line of text. And so we, now that we've gotten rid of the shadow, we'll format the text a little more so that it uh, fills up the safe zone of the screen. As I pointed out to you in my last lesson, the safe zone is the area where you want to design your titles. And you see that we have a blue rectangle in position for his, the first name. And we are going to now create a second rectangle for Arlington High School, but we will alter the color. Now, the quickest way to do that is to go to the keyboard, type Control-C, which is the shortcut for Control-Copy, and then enter Control-V, which is the shortcut for Paste and you'll see that another rectangle appears at the center of the screen. Now don't worry about that. Your system's not freaking out. It's a default setting and you can change the position of that rectangle and any other shape you include by pressing the Alt key and using the arrow keys to position the shape. You can also go into the View tab at the bottom of the screen and position it that way. As you see on View there is a number for baseline and a number for left edge and so if you really want to fine-tune your graphics that way that's another option so we'll move the left edge a little bit so we've created two shapes but you notice they blend together quite a bit and the primary title Richard Avocado is what we want to highlight so what I'm going to do is change the second shape so that it uh, is separated from the first shape and how we'll do that is going to size and attributes or color and texture we go, we're going to go back to the color and texture palette and we can alter the color so I will change this to black and you see that we've done that and also as a safeguard I'm going to scroll up to the menu click on the element menu and then click send to back which will send that shape to the very back of the screen you think of Inscriber it's similar to Photoshop it works with layers and so the more you put in there the more layers will show up on the screen you can also bring certain layers to the front, put certain layers to the back, and design graphics the way you want. And the other thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to alter the transparency value. Now, if you're familiar with 
graphic design transparency and opaque no different here than in Photoshop. So we are to make this transparent scroll down to the right side of the color and texture palette look for the transparency abbreviation right here and you'll see two values one for top and one for bottom you can ingest one or both I will adjust both for the simplicity of this design or this lesson so I will set this to about 50 percent which gives us enough to see what the second line in our graphic is but enough to tell you that it is not the primary byline 